I'm Shelly Turner with the Builder All team. In this video, we're going to use Canvas to set up a tripwire funnel with or without a membership area. So first we need to understand what the tripwire funnel is and what it does. This funnel is designed to actually get the name and email from the website visitor, but we also want to entice them to make a purchase with an irresistible offer. That's the tripwire offer. Usually this offer is something of great value for very little price. So they'll whip out that credit card and actually purchase that offer. Once they purchase that offer, they'll be sent to the core offer. And because they've already got their credit card out, they've already made a purchase, they're already in a buying mood, they'll purchase that core offer, which is the main one you want them to buy. So how can this funnel be used in different niche areas? This is a great funnel to use for any niche area, whether you're a coach or consultant, affiliate marketing, if you're in sales, offline business, or even business to business. This funnel is used to not only get your visitor's name and email so you can build an email list, but you're enticing them to make a purchase with an irresistible offer. And this purchase leads them to be in a buying mood and purchase a core offer that you have that's more expensive and the real one that you want them to purchase. So what does a tripwire funnel look like? So this is a basic funnel that you enter and the first point of entry is a page that has an opt-in form. Remember that we're capturing their email and their name. So the first page is gonna do exactly that. So how do we set this up in Canvas? The first step is to click add a funnel and then you're gonna come up with a funnel title and funnel description and then you're gonna click next. And from there, you're gonna select your template. The tripwire has two templates. It has a funnel with a membership area and a funnel without the membership area. You're gonna choose the template that you wanna use and then click create. Now let's take a look at how to set up a tripwire funnel without a membership area. I'm in Canvas and I've got my tripwire funnel without a membership area pulled up. So let's go through the complete blueprint and take a look at how your visitor will go through this funnel. So the first page they hit is the opt-in page. On the opt-in page, there'll be an email marketing form. When they fill that form out and click submit, they'll be sent to the email confirmation page. On this page, they'll get instructions on how to check their email and click the confirm link. Once they click the confirm link, they'll be sent straight to a sales page. On that sales page is the tripwire offer. This is the offer that's very, very inexpensive, but of great value and it trips them into purchasing that product. They cannot resist purchasing that product. So they go through the checkout process, and when they purchase the product, they're sent to a thank you page, where they're then sent to a core offer page. This is the actual offer that you're trying to sell, because this is where you're gonna make your money. So once they see this page, they're already in a buying mood, they've already pulled their credit card out, so they'll make the purchase. When they go through the checkout process, they'll go to the thank you page, where they get instructions on how to access the products they just purchased. So now let's take a look at the things we need to edit to be able to create this website. The first one is the opt-in form. If I right click here and go to edit element, I can make sure that the service is mailing boss. I can select my list. If I don't have an existing list, I can create a list on the fly by clicking this purple create list button. I have my pending subscribe page already configured. My subscription confirm page is already configured. And if I want to add an unsubscribe page, I can do that here. Also on the form, I can right click that and go to view mailing boss campaigns. This is going to take me into mailing boss where I can view campaigns that already exist for this opt-in list, or I can create a new email sequence for this opt-in list. The next area is the checkout for offer number one. I'm going to right click this and go to edit element. And I'll make sure that I have a title for this offer, a price, and then I'm gonna set up the success page. The success page has already been configured. The next area is check out for offer number two. I'm gonna right click here and go to edit element. And I'm gonna make sure I have a title for this offer, a price for this offer, and my success page has already been configured. So now this funnel is ready to be created into a website. So the first step is to click save and then okay. And then I'm gonna click create the website. I have to name my website and then I'm gonna click Create. And now the website has actually been created in the background, and I have two choices. The first choice is to click OK and stay right here in Canvas, or I can click Access the Website, and I can access this website in the Pixel Perfect Builder, where I can start working on design and content. 
Now let's take a look at how to set up a Tripwire funnel with a membership area. I'm in my Canvas dashboard and now I'm in the Tripwire funnel with a membership area. So let's go through the entire funnel to see how this is going to work. So first the user actually hits the opt-in page and from the opt-in page they're going to fill out the opt-in form. Once they hit the submit button they're going to be sent to the email confirmation page and that's the page that tells them that they need to check their email and click the confirmation link. Once they click the confirmation link, they'll be sent straight to the Tripwire offer. And from the Tripwire offer, they'll get offered a low price product that's irresistible. They have to break out that credit card. And when they break out that credit card and they purchase, they'll go through the checkout process. When they go through the checkout process, there's a couple things that's happening. The first thing is that the membership area is released once they finish the payment process. And after they finish the payment process, they'll be sent to the core offer. This is the actual offer you, that you really want them to buy because this is really where you're going to make your money. So once they purchase the core offer, they'll go through the checkout process. That's going to release the second membership area when they go through that payment process. Then they're going to land after they pay on the thank you page. On the thank you page, there's going to be two buttons. One is to enter membership area one, and the second one is to enter membership area two. They'll be able to access both of those sites if they purchased the Tripwire offer for membership one and the core offer for membership area two. So that's the entire funnel and how it works. Now let's take a look at how to set up this funnel to make sure it's ready to create a new website. So the first one is the form. We want to right click on that and go to edit elements. And that brings out the pop out window and we need to make sure we select the service of mailing boss. Then we need to select our list that we want to use for this opt in list. And I'll choose one right here. And the pending subscribe is already chosen. The subscription confirmed is already chosen. If you want to add it unsubscribe, you can. But for me, I'm just going to leave it the way it is and I'm going to click outside of there and that sets up the email marketing form. Now if you want to right click and go to the mailing boss campaigns, you can actually create mailing boss campaigns for this opt-in list, but it will take you out into mailing boss and then you'll have to come back into Canvas. So we're going to stay right in here, but if you choose to set up your email campaigns, you can do that from right here. The next step is to set up the first checkout offer, which is the tripwire offer. I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit element. And you need to put a title for your offer, a price. The success page is already there. And we already have it releasing membership one when they make a payment. Um, so all that's configured now. I'm going to go to the second offer, right click it, and go to edit element. I'm going to make sure it has a title. It has a price. The next page is already chosen. And it releases membership area two. So everything is set up and good to go. I need to make sure I click save so that I have my funnel saved completely. And then the next step is to click create the website. So I'm going to go ahead and click create website and now I'm going to name it. And then I'm going to click create in the background. It's creating the website for me, including the membership areas and the way they access, which is to make a purchase through the checkout system. And now it's giving me a success message and I've got two choices. I can either choose to click OK and stay here in Canvas or I can choose to click access the website and it will take me into the pixel perfect where I can work on my design and content for my website. That's how we use Canvas to create a tripwire funnel with or without a membership area in Builderall.